Hi everyone, this is Jesse from Big Tree Knives. Today I'm going to be documenting an experiment that I'm conducting that uses thermite to create a high carbon steel. I will not be explaining thermite. There's plenty of other videos out there that you can do some research and figure out how to do that. So after doing some research on thermite and looking into other high carbon steels, such as wood steel, I decided to try to use thermite and the extreme heat that it produces to create my own high carbon steel. So most of the videos out there that I've seen uh, pretty much just show thermite burning through things. What I want to do is actually contain thermite. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a ceramic flower pot. Um, ceramic is very resistant to heat, so that's why I'm going to be using that, plus it's cheap. Um, so one thing that I'm trying to do is just keep things uh, pretty inexpensive. So what I'm using is a ceramic flower pot, and inside I am uh, have that kind of coated with um, a high temperature, um, 3000 degree um, furnace cement. So this is my primary crucible. Now, to actually contain the, the reaction and contain the heat even further, what I'm doing is I have a larger flower pot and in this flower pot is going to be filled with sand. So this is going to be filled with sand. My primary crucible is going to be sitting in here surrounded by the sand and what that will essentially do is contain the heat in this crucible even more um, giving the molten iron time uh, to absorb and dissolve the other uh, elements, the carbon, the nickel, and the copper that I'll be putting into it. On top of this right here, um, to contain all of the slag during the reaction, uh, I'm going to be putting another flower pot, so it's going to kind of be just like that. Um, the good thing about these flower pots is there's a nice hole in the top of them, or in the bottom of them, sorry, um, that will kind of act as a chimney to release all of the gases and stuff like that. So, yesterday I tried uh, this experiment with a three ounce portion of thermite with a small amount of carbon and the product that I got out of it um, is this piece right here this is a piece of iron I'm not exactly sure if you can call this steel because I'm not exactly sure how much of the carbon it actually absorbed um, when I looked in the bottom of the small flower pot um, there was just this little chunk sitting there and boiling so there's an extreme amount of energy and extreme amount of heat that's given off by this reaction. Today, um, what I'm going to be doing is a three pound thermite reaction. So it should be uh, pretty big. Um, so that's about all I have for you right now. The next portion of this video is actually going to be the experiment um, and I will be showing you the setup that I have. Okay, so we're back here, and this is my pretty simple crucible setup here. So, as you can see, we have the main crucible here that is filled with thermite. Um, on the very bottom of the actual bowl itself, I have a um, small amount of copper and a small amount of nickel along with some powdered carbon. Um, and then on top of that is the actual thermite. Then we have our containment uh, pot. Um, around or in between the two, there is a layer, I'd say about between a half inch and three quarters of an inch of silica sand. So what I'm gonna end up doing is running a piece of uh, magnesium ribbon out through here and out through the side. And then the other um, the other pot is going to be placed on top of that and taped down with some tape. So once we get that up and going, the next thing that you'll see is the actual uh, reaction. So here we go.
So here we are back uh, in the basement of Big Tree Knives. Um, we just got done with the larger thermite reaction and uh, I think that it was a, uh, a, a pretty good success. Um, we got a nice ingot of steel, iron, not exactly really sure what to call it. Um, I'll call it thermite steel for now. Uh, and this was the actual product. So uh, we hammered into the crucible and this is what we got. So this is a nice uh, chunk of iron, chunk of steel, I'm not exactly sure um, if, there, if this actually absorbed any of the carbon or not. Hopefully it did. Um, I do notice that this has a different color than my original one. This one has more of a of a silver color, this one has more of a brownish color, maybe that might be due to the nickel and the copper that it absorbed, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. So um, I believe this was a success, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, right down the middle because there are some voids uh, that I can tell right away, so I'm going to see how deep those go and if I can actually go and forge this out into a nice uh, homogeneous piece to make some blades out of. Um, if you want to check that out more, I'm sure that I'll be posting some more videos about this later on. Uh, you can check or find more information out about Big Tree Knives on Facebook. Uh, if you're looking to buy some Big Tree Knives, we have some listed on eBay at this time. So you can check us out there. So thanks for watching and have a good one.